I want a sandwich. Now. Oh, sandwich wench. Yo, wench. Sandwich. Now. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. Damage. Hello everyone, welcome back to another political recap stream here on the Moisky Live channel. Hope you're having a marvellous day today. Joining me to talk about some bits and bobs uh, is Trups. Say hi Trups. Hello oh, Trups. Glorious, how is Trups? Mm. Alright, I'm a little um, fobbed off of the uh, construction that's going on outside my house. They decided to, you know, uh, close the road. Oh, we've seen For that, an um... intersection. Ah, oh, that's 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 shit. That's been happening around here as well. We're not, and I can't walk certain routes. I go to work because mm -hmm. they're closing. I don't understand. Like the funny thing is, there are people. Who, we don't have driveways everywhere, so people are parking in the road as well. But the roads are shut, and they can't get the cars out, and they're getting angry about it. It's like you were told a week ago to remove your car. Yeah, but even still, like I, uh, it, it's it. I understand that like they have to. In my case, they're expanding the road. Yeah. Um, I understand when you have issues where you're like, oh, you know, you've got to, you know, uh, fix, uh, or yeah, you got to expand the road, and it just so happens to be in front of somebody's house. Yeah, but you got to like, give me some sort of like Notice. way to like still access my oh, vehicle. Oh, yes. That otherwise, like, I'm just going to be parking in front of my neighbor, and my neighbor's going to be pissed. So that, that's um, in this country. Um... That's not considered as, you know, uh, rude, as it is where you are, obviously. Because um, mm -hmm. we, we have very limited space for parking. Mm -hmm. um, people, if, you, if your car gets stuck in while they're doing building work, that's on you. Because they're usually given, you are given notice. Um, mm -hmm. signs are, they always have signs around saying, oh, by the way, we're going to be doing some building work here in about three weeks' time. There's your mm -hmm. warning. Don't be so arrogant. And it's funnier because a lot of people, where I walk past these houses, they're people who live in London. They work in London and live there as well. They can't get their car. They have to take the train. They have no choice. And the train to London on the day is expensive. Mm, I see. I feel bad for them, but I don't want to. Whereas yes, in your country, well, obviously, you know, that, you know, you have neighbors. You, you actually have space. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, well, I mean, our country is. You certainly have space. I've seen your Mul house. Multiple times. Well, my, my, my house is okay. It's not a huge house. It's the it's the front garden, mate. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, I have enough room in my driveway for Build about another three house. Cars. <laughs> well, yes, actually, for three cars, yes. Mate, you're just dabbing right now. <laughs> I, I wish. Well, I kind of don't. I kind of like having my driveway the way it is. I get you. Um, space is nice. Yeah, and it doesn't feel so cramped. That's good. We don't have that luxury um, here. We have a very small driveway because it's a well, corner. Yeah, it's, a... It's, it's a corner property, so we have a driveway, mm -hmm. but you have to have a very specifically sized car for the whole car to fit on that driveway. Uh, a Fiat. <laughs> a Fiat Five Hundred, perhaps. Yeah. Um, or those yeah. little Japanese box cars. Or a smart car. If you've ever seen the OG version of those. Um, they have. It, it's it's just it's a very like a turtle short, shell. Yeah, basically, it's a very short dr short drive. Um, you can't mm -hmm. fit the um what my sister dubs the chuckle bus onto it, which is the um converted transit van that accommodates uh -huh. my nephew uh for his disabled needs. It's more of a little it's like a shuttle or bus, but it's too long, so it has to be parked somewhere else. Uh, it's a pain in the backside. Um, you can't fit typical family carriers on it either. 
again, too short. And it's a corner property, which means you can't park sideways because next door right. is also a corner and they've got a fence there. It's just, it's impossible to work it. I, 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 I think I've seen where your house is. I think you might have, yeah. Um, it's an awkward spot. Um, I don't drive though, so it's not an issue for me. Aha, there you I, go. I, I'll win her. Yes, true. All right, so where... I feel I feel like we should start with with Kate. All right. Uh, okay. Just because even as I was driving home, yeah. even the American media in multiple places was talking well, about this. The, 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 to be honest, your your media will want to talk about this um, because it, it's it's quite an interesting topic, really. And also, it doesn't then. It, it, I mean, it can be used to then raise awareness for, um, let's say. Royals who don't deserve the title live in America, perhaps, that faked having a chase by journalists in a city where it's impossible to be chased, um, i.e. Meghan and Harry. Well, who haven't really said anything yet, so I'm glad they're being smart about this, because the optics would absolutely destroy them. But the... Um, True. So, for a little while now, um, Kate uh, Windsor, I guess, I think that's her last name now. Is it? She's mm -hmm. been, she used to be Middleton. Uh, the Princess of Wales, um, wife of uh, the next in line, in fact, she has been missing for a while, and she hasn't been, well, not missing, just not seen the public eye. And there was speculation. Okay, now we had heard weeks ago she'd had surgery. That's all we knew. Unfortunately, the internet is a weapon, and once weaponized by anything conspiratorial, it can be spun. Now, there was a picture recently seen of what was alleged to be her. Mm -hmm. It was not her, please. That was a stunt double of a body triple. That was nothing. Look, nothing like a like a, an inbred version of what someone would thought Kate looked like. Okay, and so it was hilarious. That picture did not help the situation. Um, we knew around the same time King Charles uh, III he'd had um, some uh, surgery as well, um, some measures taken for an enlarged prostate, and I think also treatment for mm. cancer as well, because uh, mm -hmm. he has cancer. Um, and this evening, uh, or actually, no, I've got the Twitter video. It wasn't this evening. It was, uh, no, it was this evening. It was 5.59 p.m. Uh, GMT uh, today um, on the Princess Prince and Princess of Wales official Twitter. Um, Catherine, as she is dubbed on this as opposed to Kate, which is what everyone knows her as, uh, put out a 2 minute 20 video explaining where she's been. Uh, mm -hmm. Essentially, um, I forgot, because I've, I've only heard her voice a few times. She is very young voiced. In the set, like you know how some people when uh, you get older, your voice, like mine, certainly has gotten deeper as I've gotten older. Yes, and, and, she still uh, has a youthful tone. Very youthful tone. Very youthful. But then she looks really youthful as well. Mm -hmm. um, she's quite lucky, I guess, in that respect to have a, a family that have a feck load of money to keep her looking young. It's all that organic well, food. As, as long as it as long as it looks good, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and it's not what awesome. people have been dubbing like a good look right mm -hmm. now, which is like these lip. Oh like, yeah, the, was the, it lip filler? Oh, it, it's it's the fakery. She is. Yeah. she's not that. Uh, but in that video, um, she explained that she'd had surgery, but also was undergoing preventative treatment for cancer, mm -hmm. uh, which I believe she did mention chemotherapy. I think that was mentioned. It was. Um, I did see some people in the tweet replies falsely equating this to the treatment experienced by that of Meghan Markle and saying Meghan went through worse. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's not the, you can't compare the two. Uh, and at least it's now been addressed. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a number of articles uh, from a few British tablets, more conservative ones. Who are naming and shaming um, a number of uh, celebrities, uh, Kim Kardashian, Blake Lively, Andy Cohen, John Oliver, for taking the piss out of her being missing now that the context is known. Um, I'm going to say now, don't bother. It, it, it does. It didn't help. The royal family did not help themselves when they did not talk about this sooner. When around the same time Charles himself was dealing with has been you know dealing with cancer right, so mm -hmm. to be honest, if they'd mentioned at that point, I know she has a right to privacy, and actually I respect that, but in this context, the royal family have not helped themselves because it could have been announced sooner, like they had with, with Charles, and just left it at that. I fully understand that at the same time that 
she has the right to decide whether or not that should be made public yet. Um, mm -hmm. In the public, when you are somebody though, that exists in the public eye, or you're the face or a part of a uh, face of this country, it's a trickier area to navigate, especially when your life, your duty now is public service. Um, right. So it's an it's a, it does get complicated, but I I don't think these celebrities, as they've been dubbed, uh, owe her an apology for making jokes because, quite frankly, I would have made the same ones. Uh, and I think it's fair game because the royal family know the optics game. They're playing it fairly well. And on this one, I think they did drop the ball ever so slightly. Um, but at the same time, I hope she gets well. Um, I hope the treatment works. And I hope she doesn't lose all her hair. Because I've heard chemotherapy does that. It does. Um, and it's, and she's and it's a real hair. shame. She's got good hair. Although, she is at that age now where uh, a lot of people who do have long hair, and she has long hair... Um, a lot of people at this age uh, will start to cut their hair short anyway, although she does look better with longer hair, I think. Um, but uh, that's just me. I'm sure it'd look fantastic as a wig on King Charles, because I'm sick of it. He has the Biden comb over. You know, the one that starts at the front and hides the bowl at the back. Yes, of course. Except in Biden's case, it does not hide anything. Although it doesn't really with Charles either, to be honest. He's a little, he's a little too far gone, I think, both of them. Can't tell if that's a reference to follicular or whether it's a reference to, to his to his mind. Let's go with yes. Sure. Um, but yeah, in, in this um, this has been discussed by uh, a lot of outlets. Um, I think um, she'll be fine. Personally, she's young. She's not. Old. I'm sorry, but she's young. It doesn't. She'll be fine. Um, and uh, so hopefully this will calm the internet down a bit. Mm -hmm. You know. Do you think so? Well, okay. I, hoped it would, I, I should be I more. I should be more specific. Do you think it will actually at least give them a direction? You know what I mean. Um, you know, possibly. Um, there is a hashtag right now uh, trending, all caps. I'll say it even in all caps. Simply leave her alone, which is the hashtag trending right now. I'll even put it on the mm. screen for you. Leave her alone is trending. Uh, if I go back, uh, here it is leave her alone. Along with um, cancer, royal family, Kate trending, uh, and it is reference to Kate basically. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I, I, uh, she's a public servant. It's not the same. It's it's trickier to to navigate, I guess. Um, if, if this, if say Queen Elizabeth was still around, and she'd um, had emergency surgery, there would have been a lot of speculation. Um, but I do believe that they would have said something sooner if it were cancer. Uh, yeah, but at, at the very least, though... But I do think, yeah, okay. I do think because she's not... No, Kate's not on anywhere near the throne, to be honest, right now. I do think that the, the she problem, has a, a right to privacy. The, the problem with, like, it... I mean, it is cancer. She does have cancer. Mm. Because there's no reason why you would go through chemo. Which is well, usually yeah. something that happens. Like, she, if it were a mass, right? She did Surgically, say, you could yeah. get rid of it. She did say in the video, preventative measure. Um, and so that must mean there's something there. Whether it's benign or not, it doesn't matter right. that it's being dealt with. It, yeah, or they have indications that it could grow, and they're trying to stop that earlier. Yeah. Either but, way, I'm down with that. Yeah. That seems like a fair point. By the way, I had to speed watch that because uh, because Trups had joined me a, about a minute into the video. So I had to speed the video to get all the information out of it because I was a bit behind. Mm. Yes. Um, uh, and I should have said to chat. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, uh, Temp1. Hello, Bry. Hi, Leona. Hello, um, Orla. Uh, for all your walls of text there. Uh, thank you for the um, information. Hello, Michael. Hope you're all well. Um, Brian Pantelone. Indeed. Um, and uh, yeah, um, does that mean you'll cut your hair soon too? No. <laughs> But, and go fuck yourself, you germ. <laughs> I said nothing. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I, I I certainly hope that she does fine. Um, you know, I Americans are interested in this, I think, because I think by and large we like yeah. Kate. Like, I think that is somebody who like we're down and like are totally okay with mm. her. I don't think anybody has a bad thing to say typically in, in our country no. about Kate. I well, don't Kate's, think she's had much. Yeah, no, she's not. The only thing that um, only I've only ever really seen shitty things done to her. I think she went on a 
years ago, before she was um before she married Will, um, or maybe just after, she'd gone on holiday with a friend and from a very far distance, I'll give this journalist some credit, from mm-hmm. quite a distance. And the picture you we can't find him in the UK, but you can with a VPN. Uh, they took mm-hmm. pictures of her in various states of undress. Uh, and oh, that's unfortunate. That, it is unfortunate. However, she's somewhat saved because these pic- the guy was so far away that the pictures were of a quality akin to a Sean Head video. Yeah, 480. Ah, it looked like... And so the only shitty thing has happened to her as opposed to her being in something controversial. Yeah. Like prawn from uh, what's well, it called? It was, it was, the, it was, uh, it was the, t- the the nineties. It may as well be. Uh, it, it was just a topless picture, but for, it was so far away. That's all it was. I remember the newspapers had it briefly in this country, and they did a censored version because it yeah it got it got buried quickly. Mm. Um, and um, that, that beyond that, no. I, I should also <clears throat> insert one other quote from the video. I put since I pull up the trending tag. She says here, "We now need time, space, and privacy." And that I fully and now that she's she's come out publicly about what it is, um, I think that's fair. Although to be honest, mm. she could have carried on with the joke; it would have been funnier. Um, well, joke per se. Um, the uh, uh, allowed it to fester to annoy people more if she had a vindictive bone in her, perhaps. Maybe, maybe. But um, yeah, I, um, I I hope everything goes well, and I and yeah. I hope. All things are are all right in the future. I hope so. Um, okay. Uh, well, how about how about next? Uh, I I've seen a few um, impeachment inquiry videos into uh, Biden. Um, uh, yeah. Have you heard who is uh, Bo- Bobulinski? Uh, Tony Bobulinski is a um, a former, um, I guess, associate. Uh, for the uh, the Hunter Biden uh, and Joe Biden crime family, you see, uh, well, yeah, basically, it, he was a business partner, yeah. and uh, at Wait. some point, I don't remember where, but at some point, they went, you know, different ways. So it would have been after the 2020 election at some point because yes. um, there was an interview he had done with Tucker Carlson on Fox News and a part that was censored during the election was mm-hmm. where uh, Tony had um, uh, was asked about whether um, uh, whether or not Joe Biden um, had any... Well, Joe Biden had said he had never had any business uh, discussions with his son, Hunter, and Tony had said mm. that's a blatant lie. Um, and this has led, obviously, to a number of committee hearings. And I've seen Jim Jordan feature heavily in this, uh, referencing someone called the big guy. Now, I thought that was Roman Reigns. I must be wrong. But apparently, <laughs> this the big guy is Joe Biden. Uh, and uh, but Tony had confirmed that there are text messages that back this up, confirming mm-hmm. that there was... And emails. Series. Yeah. This is not... This is quite interesting, really, because a, a charge being discussed is racketeering. Mm-hmm. What is racketeering? Racketeering would essentially be a conspiracy to work together uh, in order to further uh, a crime. If I if I understand correctly, you do, you do. I just thought I'd put it out there. Um, it's been discussed oh, because in that same committee, uh, mm-hmm. a certain uh, Ocasio Cortez spoke up, Jeez. and yeah, she now did. she had an absolute. Five minute TED Talk meltdown on this. Now she was talking about racketeering. She um she said that the uh in this in this instance the um uh, the charge like um the the uh, what was it uh, uh, RICO uh, is a category mm-hmm. of crimes, and she said that these this this type um, in this context um uh, does not associate with um um this. Yes. She she's Quite. she's not the smartest. No, and also specifically, one of her quotes was, "Rico is not a crime; it is a category of crime." Yep. Meanwhile, everyone's like, "Aha, uh-huh. yeah." What's and even Bob Alinsky made the comment saying, "You know, Trump is under those categories yeah. of crimes." That's interesting because, like, he 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 proceeds to name the crimes, and as he names the crimes, 
she has an absolute meltdown over it. It's like, hang on, you've brought Bobolinsky in here to, to answer all these questions, and you're you're trying desperately to like you're trying to make it seem like it's one rule for one person but not for the other. So hang on, you've got a former president who we're gonna talk about later anyway, who mm -hmm. is being done for racketeering. Mm hmm Like Dirty too. Yeah. Dirty. And by the way, that is complete bullshit anyway. This one, though, isn't bullshit. This is legit, and you're willing to say that this isn't, but the other one is? Okay, this is interesting. Yes, because they don't actually care. Yeah, well, we've had this before when they did the impeachment nonsense. We agreed none of it, none of it should have stood in the first place. Um, but it's what you get from this game. Um, yeah. Have you been paying attention to any of these um, committee hearings at all? I have a bit. So um, basically, it's it's part of the ongoing impeachment inquiry that they have been trying to keep going for a bit now. Um, some people have, have speculated that the reason why they're so hard pressed to continue uh, with these impeachment hearings is because they need to basically stretch it. Because if they don't, they basically have a couple of choices. They either have the choice of drop it all together, in which case then they basically acknowledge that there's not enough evidence to move forward and then this causes uh, you know, an, an issue. Um, or they could always um, they could always continue it, in which case then they get a basically a bonus in that we now get to continue to um, chase down Biden as kind of a campaign thing which is an opinion that i don't necessarily think is the best play but sure um i'm not the person who's in charge of that so i'm not going to pretend like i know enough um but basically you have all of those individuals who are basically playing the if i if i if i let it go then he get he looks like he gets off scot-free if i mm -hmm. keep it going at the least that you know that that looming cloud gets to remain over his head. I'm kind of so, I'm kind of curious with AOC in this because I know that this is not meant to be obviously just one party asking these questions. I fully support these kind of hearings. I don't like it that it's always the um, down the party line nonsense because she's coming mm. to this looking at it with a level of tunnel vision. I find beyond misunderstanding. It's a level of of almost stupidity that. I don't quite understand how she managed to get into into politics, actually, because of it. That's a great question. If only someone could answer it for me. But sadly, True. she's too dumb to I get don't. the question. I don't. I cannot. <laughs> yeah. It's not racketeering when they do it. But, Tiny, you're quite right. Uh, it's not racketeering. Even though, in this context, if Trump is done for racketeering when it's not racketeering, then Biden has definitely committed a crime within that ballpark. Uh, a much worse one, I might add. Um, well if we were to accept that there was wrongdoing in the first place and there's enough evidence now, irrefutable evidence, I might add, to confirm it. Mm -hmm. um, I I did mem I do remember when Trump was in office and I'd said that, uh, and you actually confirmed it anyway, that now that the, the precedent has been set for impeaching presidents, it's going to be a recurring theme for each successive president. And you actually told me that that's kind of what they try and do anyway all the time. Uh, true, yes. And we have we have evidence to say that even um, simpler uh, times, they have uh, sought out, um, you know, trying to impeach um, President, even even Trump, before the two impeachments that actually went into the Senate, he had been impeached, or at least articles were introduced for his impeachment multiple times over. Um, and they only, like, didn't work well, I would say they actually didn't work a lot of the time because a lot of it was basically, oh, Russian collusion, um, uh, oh, you know, the P tape, oh, you know, it was a bunch of bullshit um, that basically were scenarios where House members were basically trying to grandstand and say, look at me, I'm challenging the system. Let me introduce articles of impeachment against Donald Trump. Um I, 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 like, look... I like this idea of derangement syndrome existing before Trump. Because mm -hmm. it, it exists with each president, really, doesn't it? 
Oh, absolutely. And and, and not only does it does it exist for for every president, but in particular, Trump has acquired quite a um, a set of people who are absolutely deranged. Mm-hmm. Looking at his, um, you know, his his general behaviors. I mean, absolutely batshit insane. Um, to the point where we have individuals who are willing to burn their state to the ground Is that in order to. No, no. This is this is my segue into New York. Oh, sweet. Um, um, like willing to burn it all down, um, in order to, I guess, own Donald Trump. I guess. So where I'm going with that is, of course, we know about the fraud stuff, right? We mm-hmm. all know that that was a that was a thing that was coming, right? Okay, well, the fraud stuff gets even more interesting when you start to look at um, what he has to pay. Um, four hundred and fifty-four ha- million dollars. Four hundred and fifty-four million dollars. That is correct. Now, if you were to ask the, um, well, let me let me ask you first. What would you say is a um, is the most that somebody could get a loan for? Um, I mean, I could get one for thirty grand, but I know some people can get larger ones for houses. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't Have you imagine. ever heard of a loan for five hundred million dollars? Mm-hmm. You no. have no. Sorry, I was listening to you and re- I saw an article on my thing, and I just nodded. I didn't realize. No, <laughs> I pulled up an article where it says Trump has claimed he claims he has five hundred million in cash, but doesn't mention paying fraud fine with three days until the deadline. Um, no, no, I've never heard of a loan that big. But I have heard of governments borrowing money through gilts. Um, yes. But that's a um, government. It's not the same as an individual um, or a businessman especially because there's a phenomenal amount of money. I mean, you need to have a Saudi prince on your side. Right. And actually, I, I 100% agree with that, uh, that, that idea um, because the, the only people who I could ever imagine – who would be able to obtain a five hundred million dollar bond would have to be have to be a government of some sort because ain't nobody just playing with that money. Now somebody could point out that Elon did secure a certain kind of loan uh, when he purchased Twitter. That was a little bit different. He liquidated a lot of money, mm-hmm. um, and a lot of his was in a actual stock situation. As opposed to a physical asset, this is slightly different. Um, so, if we're going to look at, um, you know, that aspect, right? Um, no, of course, nobody could pay a five hundred million dollars bond. But if you are MSNBC, then you will go out and you will tell everybody about how uh, Donald Trump can't pay his debts, mm-hmm. um, ignoring the fact that the debt you're talking about is five hundred million. I have a query. I have a query. Yes. What the hell is a five hundred million million dollar bond? What, what is that? The fine or is it something else? So, in order for him to um, actually put forward the uh, attempt to appeal this decision, he needs to put up a bond. Um, Will he get it back or not? Yes, that would be the point. If he like, if let's just say this was for like for like twenty thousand dollars, yeah, you'd have to put up the money. Um, in order to basically... Um, like a bail bond. Yeah, like, to ensure that uh, you could actually pay the money. Right. Um, if you happen to lose. Okay. Here's the problem, though. There's no fucking way that this man could do that. There's no way in hell. You certainly can't okay. do it if they seize properties. Mm-hmm. Although, hang on, if they're seizing properties, are they seizing it for the bond, or are they seizing it as a penalty? Um, so that part, I'm not quite sure of. I imagine they would they would seize it as a way to, um, basically, uh, collateral. 
Yeah. For the um, for for the bond. Yeah, for the for the amount that was owed through the fraud, right? How much is owed through the fraud? Is that three? Was that a few hundred million? Wasn't it? Yeah, that that what is owed is the four hundred and sixty four or whatever you said million dollars. That Maybe, is what let's is go owed. With five, let's just go five hundred. The interest is getting yeah. larger every day anyway. Right, five hundred million dollars. That is how much is owed <clears throat> to the state of New York for something. Right. <laughs> The something is irrelevant in this case because... Well, it's nonsense. Yeah, apparently seen, nobody I've knows. S- I've seen people celebrating this, like, oh, Trump's going to lose this. And I'm sat back like, you do realize if they set this precedent for willingly ignoring evidence to prosecute someone, that can mm-hmm. be used against literally anyone to seize anything. Yeah. Like, this will harm... Act- you, you need to shelve your your ignorance and your hatred for an individual or politics or political party and accept mm-hmm. here that this is not what it looks like at all and your bias is is clouding your judgment. I'm not a Trump supporter. I I, I just think it's hilarious he's here. But I have to ex- I accept that he's not in the wrong in this as much as people like to think he is. And mm-hmm. this derangement that is clouding you will bite you all on the arsehole. 100%. And you can't you can't keep doing that to yourself because you're just setting yourself up to to be harmed when this happens to something like this happens to you. Like mm-hmm. these fines are obscene. These are beyond and, obscene, actually. And I don't think that the intention um, is actually to get him to pay. So th- this whole case just screams bullshit to me for a lot of reasons. Of course it does. But- and it's done poli- down political line in a city where he has some of the biggest properties in the form of Trump Tower and other buildings, I believe, as well. It looks right. like it's just done to take everything or erase his existence from the city. I think it's even more more maniacal or uh, evil than that. And actually uh, had made a point um, earlier on. So, obviously, I don't think that there is a person in that... Uh, in, in, involved in this who genuinely believes that he could ever have paid that i don't i don't i don't believe it right that being said okay they had to have like brought this up for a reason they had to have wanted to break him down steal his assets they had to have wanted to do this for a reason i think there are two possibilities the Mm -hmm. first is Rob him of what made him Donald Trump. So Trump Tower is the shining phallic object in the sky, right? That big is old target. his. Hmm. It's a big old target. It is. It is definitely. But also, that's like that's his baby, right? Mm-hmm. He's got Trump Towers everywhere, but the New York one is particularly one of his babies, mm-hmm. right? Um. And of course, we're doing this in New York. That fraud right there, right? Puts that. Power that hotel strictly in in the crosshairs. Okay, so he either loses access to Trump Tower because there's no way in hell that he'll secure 500 million, or he has to go around and he has to ask people, "Can you supply a bond using my properties as collateral?" Of course, no bank will do it. Yeah, he's, but, had, he's had 30 declines, hasn't he? But who would if you had to, you know? Uh, if if you were allowed to go outside of the U.S., mm-hmm. Saudis probably, probably. I um, think they were trying to catch him in a situation where his hubris, his ego, wouldn't let him lose the tower, and thus would compromise him by making him reliant on foreign money. I think that was the two different options that they were willing to go for. Either A, he loses the tower, or B, he uh, compromises himself and thus basically makes him ineligible for becoming a president. Yeah, they're, they're trying to push that um, button. He has, mm-hmm. um, Trump has said on his social mm-hmm. media that he has $500 million in cash. So he can do this. He can. Or he claims he can. Right, he and, claims he can. I, I'm yeah. not. Sure, I'm not so sure, but until I see it paid. Yeah, but at the same time, this is done solely. I mean, 
This is this is solely a, a tactic to try and stop him from trying to run. But he has said he wants to use the money he has to pay for his campaign, where he holds a considerable right. lead at the moment. Right. And that's, that's I... true. I mean, Biden recently... he I mean, Trump's got half a billion. Biden raised 2.5 in Dallas. Yep. And then mocked Trump, uh, Trump at the same time, which is fine. Jokes are good. Nothing wrong with that. Not going to... Not going to crap on that because Biden isn't a natural speaker these days. Um, but he was doing this in front of a crowd of a hundred people, mm -hmm. as opposed to Trump, who does uh, well. He does this in front of crowds of tens of thousands. Well, isn't it also very interesting that like the the numerical difference, right, is so wildly different? Like, um, so he goes in front of a bunch of people for, you know, a hundred people during the state of the union or, you know, whatever the state of the union was. So let's just presume a thousand people in, in, um, in, in, in attendance and, you know, the, the millions who were watching, he raised some of his best money during the state of the union address. Yeah. Allegedly. Well, I wouldn't, um, that doesn't surprise me. Right. And, and that nor should it, but, that that is at least one of the the stats for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he raises that much money then. From whom I wonder was able to actually provide that much funding in that short window? Yeah. Well, obviously rich people. Yeah. Because Why common donors don't necessarily have that. No, they don't. I'm I'm fascinated by. Um, who who the donors are for these for parties, but I, I'm not at the same time going to be like, oh, I need your names, I need a list. I don't really care about that. It's just an intro. No, Tilly, don't come on the desk. You will literally sit on the keyboard and shut the stream down. You can fuck off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, she's been a pain in the ass today. Um, mm. I, I'm intrigued by it because people I've seen. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> she has. She literally just jumped on the desk and skidded on the keyboard. Um, yeah. Uh, there has been uh, a number of articles in the UK uh, talking about how Trump is uh, desperate. He's begging his his donors to give him three thousand dollars, thirty three hundred dollars to his campaign to help you know pay for the uh, uh, the, the the bond. I'm mm -hmm. like, to be honest, it's not really a bond at this point because first of all, he's got to appeal this, right? Yes. Okay, where's the appeal taking place? Uh, New York Supreme Court. So what the fucking point? The city's already well, biased against him. I doubt the that, Supreme Court will be on be, be unbiased in the slightest. While while true, the appeals process allows for him to continue up into um, the um, the Supreme Court of the United States. So basically, the order of operations goes okay. um, district court, which um, is what this is. Yes, this is the this Southern is, this District must of be, New York. This must be the biggest fine ever handed out by district court. Oh, definitely. But don't forget, don't forget, we also had what? What was Alex Jones's? Oh, his um, billions. His was billions. Yeah. So it's it's not the craziest, but in New York, probably it's something. It's something nutty. Um, I'll get. The but fine you look up. at oh, one point one billion dollars. He was told to pay. Mm -hmm. uh, oh no, one point five. My I correction. Um, and he offered to pay $55 million instead. Yeah. To be well, honest, $1.5 billion is an insane amount, and it was done solely to crap on a guy who had misspoke and needed to he, calm himself down a bit. <laughs> even still, I the, that that case brought us so many, like, gems. Mm -hmm. Oh, like my God. Single Alex comments. Jones is hilarious. I'm sorry. You may not, you may not like him. But that guy's taken so much brain force, uh, his own product, full of soy, mm -hmm. uh, that I think it's just addled him a little bit, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, 100%. And um, I agree with the the, the, the chat. Uh, Rod says it's basically illegal. It's meant to bankrupt him. True. Yeah. So, the, the hello, Arkita. Hope you are. Hello, Rodline. Hello, Hardly Dan. Hello, Saki. Um, I, I, Fubar Freak. I, I just want to... So it goes to this district, then, then goes to... The state supreme, yeah, and then to the supreme, then to the circuit court in which somebody from the supreme court basically oversees, which is basically its collection of states. 
Okay, um, so my my query now is there's a pro there's a long process. If he loses the appeal, mm -hmm. um, if he does pay the bond and then he does the appeal and loses that appeal, does he get an additional mm -hmm. fine on top? No, but does he'll it... have to incur all of those uh, legal fees. Well, that's that's not an issue if he's going to take it all the way to the Supreme Court because then if he wins that, his legal fees don't they get covered by the idiots who started this? Usually. Man, New York really are gluttons for punishment, aren't they? I know. I know. If you live in a city in the, in your country, you don't live in it to make money. That, mm -hmm. that I've heard this um, said by corporate people. You don't live in in New York City to make to be rich. You live there because it's a, st a status symbol, um, and because you're an arrogant twat. Um, but in this, this is it's 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 a demonstration of how the legal system shouldn't work. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. This, just, this just, lady they have weaponized right. they have weaponized the justice system against conservatives for a good amount of time now. It's embarrassing. Um, I mean, so much so that the question of whether or not the DOJ is genuinely a like a a rogue apparatus is is a very real and honest question. I should um, um, actually. It's been mentioned in the chat, and I just bothered to make it look right. Um, Truth Social is going to be going public, and Trump could net three billion dollars. We know the guy has net worth because of that. Mm -hmm. We know he has. I mean, he doesn't have it right now, but the moment that company goes public, Truth Social goes public. Fam. I mean, I was waiting for that plat It hasn't come to the UK yet, I don't believe. Um, but I was wait wondering when it would. Oh, Is you it... gonna you gonna get on that and start a no? I just true thing. It, no, it's just a just a thing. It was. A, I remember, we were talking about it, and we couldn't. Mm -hmm. But actually, no. You, I just got on the website. Apparently, you can get. I can create an account. I'm not going Ooh. to just yet. But it's just one of those things. It, it's you know he ha he's created something, and it's already worth a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, and if anyone doesn't like the sound of Trump's hookah, uh, I'm not sorry and don't care. Um, but yeah, the, the, the city thing is hilarious, isn't it? Because they're ge they're genuinely sh New York City, New York as a state. And I'm sorry to all the districts that aren't involved in this. It's pretty much just the city anyway. You are doing a fantastic job of showing the rest of the world what a joke of a city you are and how well shit your your um your justice system is when you're willing to use it, as Trump said, weaponize it, to push your political agenda because you don't like somebody. Let's not forget here that there's even one more piece to this terrible puzzle. There is? Um, oh, yes. One more terrible piece to the puzzle. And that Yay. is um, the fact that, well, it's not terrible for Trump. It's terrible for New York. Mm-hmm. The terrible piece for New York is the fact that now um, they have to explain to their investors that, you know, it's totally fine. Don't you worry. Nothing is going to happen to your stuff. We're just going after Donald Trump. Don't you worry about that. Because now they've basically shown everybody that, oh, yeah, by the way, um, None of your stuff is safe. Yeah, no, this is Ever. a social credit score in action. It's mm -hmm. it's very much his is at, at the bottom. We're going to take everything from it. They just want to take Trump Tower because they want mm -hmm. to rename it and say his name is no longer associated with our city. The thing is, his family have been a part of New York City for generations. Yes, correct. You can hate them as much as you like, but his family name is embedded in the history of that city. And you may not be proud that Donald Trump is pre was president of the United States and comes from your state, but it doesn't matter. He's still one of yours. True. He's also he's also not a Republican, but that's a different thing. Well, um, that's yeah, that's a different story. Yeah, um, Governor reassured all the business owners that despite convicting Trump doing legitimate business, they'll be fine because they aren't running for president. Well, that's nice, isn't it? That reassurance is really, um, really, um, really affirms one's trust in your. Uh, politicians doesn't it oh 100 percent, it does i can't imagine anybody um you know not feeling perfectly safe in their in their assets um 
you know, now that, you know, K Kathy Hochul has said, don't worry, your stuff is fine, I promise. Oh, oh, good, oh, goody. I'm so, I'm so happy that uh, you say that myself. But you've basically just seized, or you find somebody threatening to seize his assets because of no fraud, by the way. Like, mm -hmm. if you ask yourself, who is being defrauded? It's not him. No one. Not the banks. Not New York. Like, did New York not get paid? No, they got paid. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, did the banks not get... No, they got paid. Who who was defrauded? It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a real mystery, isn't it? Oh, it's a, it's a big think, I swear. Mm -hmm. Um... Because you, I mean, no one, no one lost money, right? No one actually. I'm doing the Trump hand thing right now. I was about to say, <laughs> what, what, were, what, were, what were you gesturing? I am, I am, I am gesturing. You know how he talks with both hands? He, he does, does the out, he does. out in yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, he does. I'm, I'm literally doing this. It's a very Tony Blair thing to do back when he was prime minister. His hands always did movement. They were always adding to his language to make him seem more uh, pronounced. Mm hmm. Um, but no, no one has actually been defrauded. So I've always been wondering, whom is this money going to? And to remedy what ill, right? Mm -hmm. The fraud is usually because someone has been defrauded, right? I've taken money from you because I told you that, you know, my bike was worth two grand and it was worth a hundred bucks. They they find him for inflating his net worth. Yeah. And they find him. They find him what was apparently the majority of his net worth. Yeah. Even though they then yep. also said his properties weren't worth as much as he claimed they were, but one of those properties in the very city they're in is worth a phenomenal amount. Yes, Park Avenue is notoriously expensive. Let's find out. Trump Tower is worth uh, $371 million. Well, remember, Mar-a-Lago is only worth $20 million. Well, it doesn't include... It does not include mm. the um, uh, Trump three-story penthouse. Um, although, apparently, um, it could be valued more than $1,000 per square foot, which would translate to $2 billion. Well, our, which estimate are we going by? Are well, we going by Donald Trump's they'll, estimate? They'll, they'll, no lowball, they'll lowball it and say you still owe us money. Oh, sure. If Instead of $2 billion, it's yeah. fucking $1.5 billion. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. It would be the $371 million, wouldn't it? Oh. <laughs> they'll lowball it on purpose. It's New York City. You can get a 6x4 a a six shed, and it will co cost you two grand a month for rent. Oh, my God. There was a guy who was, literally was in, like I think it was an 8x10 it was an eight by ten fucking apartment in New York that literally cost two grand a month. They memed uh, that on a comedy show called Two Broke Girls. Yeah, and uh, they had a guy uh, living in a dumpster that he converted into a small home. Like right, that's that's the extent of how shit it is to live in a, in cities like that. We have it in London here, uh, mm -hmm. even in the um, where my friend Nani was staying. I went to see her on Monday. I went to be a little anonymous and her fiance. Mm -hmm. uh, it was great. Saw him for three hours. I had to walk. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll, no, I'll tell you now. Fuck this. I had to. Go, I had to go to a place, and then from there, I had to go to. They were staying near Heathrow Airport. It took me an hour on foot to get there because I didn't know where it was, and then I had to run nice. back because I was ten minutes late. So I had to nice. run, which was ball lake. But it was so expensive. How much? How much? Right. So, how much is it? What, not where you live, but how much do you think a pint of beer costs where you are? You know, at at a location like at an event, at a standard pub, you know, at a standard pub, you're looking at about eight bucks. Okay, so four pounds, yeah, ish. That's actually four pounds is about what it costs where I live to get a pint. Yeah, how much yeah. do you think it costs to get half of that in in a outskirt region of London near Heathrow? Ah. Uh, I would say probably double. Am I about right? No. No, it no. Co it would cost about four times that. Oh my god. Yeah. 
And that is highway robbery. We eventually found a pub to go to, and we had they bought me fish and chips. They bought me a glass of Lafroig whiskey, spelled incorrectly. They also spelled Johnny Walker right. incorrectly, and I told them. Uh, I was like, you're uncultured swines, but I'll have your food regardless. They spell um, the, the, the H wrong? Uh, Lafroig, they forgot the O. Oh. And in Johnny Walker, Johnny they, Walker, they spelled Johnny like Johnny Cage, as opposed to I.E. They put a Y at the end. Um, ah, okay. I had a glass of Lafroig, apparently. Um, and uh, Little Synonymous cuddled me multiple times, and I told her not to. Ah, uh, yes. She asked if she could, and I was like, you can try. And then she did, and I poked her on the forehead. Anyway, carrying on about this, the, the value thing. So his, his, that Trump Tower, say they claim this fine, right? And they mm-hmm. claim it as Trump Tower. Surely then, which I think would be hilarious, the city would owe him, if it's on the higher estimates, they'd owe him $1.5 billion. Is it really worth seizing a whole fucking tower knowing you then owe him money? Or to remove his name from it. Which is what it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, basically. Well, or you could argue that their intention is to, uh, if they seize it, they'll, like they've turned other hotels in New York City, they'll turn it into a migrant shelter and really drive in that point into uh, into uh, Donald Trump's like wall argument that, ha, ah, they're in your tower now. Well, you know, it a twirling be, mustache. It'd be, it'd be hilarious if we the fact that to, li- to be a migrant in that tower, they'd still complain about the internet quality, which would be the best in the city. They'll complain about the quality of the residents, which would be the best quality of the entire city. They complain about everything about it. But then you've got people who live in the city who deserve to live there more than those who are coming to your country. Um, and you'd then fill it up very quickly... And you'd still have nowhere to put all the extra people that are being shuttled to your city. Yeah. I, found. I mean, yeah. But, like, they'll still take over schools and rec centers because, you know, fuck the people, am I right? Mm, true. And uh, Tempe, um, it's thighs with a H at the end before the S. Thighs. Uh, and I do not have thunder thighs, you're quite right. But running was not hard because I, I think do... you mean six. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have thick thighs anymore, sadly. I I do oh. a lot of cardio, so it wasn't a problem for me. It just took a few days for my legs to recover because I had to run quite far. Um, it worked out to be close to eight miles. That's 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 pretty far. Yeah, it got worse because the the roads are fucking busy. Um, yeah, that, that's a little. That's a lot. It's fine. I don't mind. I do a lot of cardio. Never mind. Anyway, yeah, back to this. Um, the um. We have until, the deadline is Monday. Mm-hmm. So we have until then to find out whether or not Trump is going to pay the fine or whether he is going to uh, not pay the bond. Same thing. Um, do you think he'll pay it or not? If he, if he is truthful when he says that he has the money on hand, I think he will. I know that he wants to use that to pay for his campaign, though. Right. I... But I, I, I don't think that he'll have really much of a choice. I don't either. Uh, but I also think if Truth Social is part of the problem, I think if it goes public, I think he'll be okay anyway. Because he'll have finally he'll have he'll have an insane amount of money from Truth Social going public, if that is true. Mm-hmm. Although he could also just sell a couple of properties if he has to. True. But then at the same time, he shouldn't have to sell Trump. He won't sell Trump Tower straight up because that's his family's legacy, you know. No, oh, absolutely. I don't think that he'll. I think he would try to avoid um, selling Trump Tower if he could. Yeah. I don't. I don't see him trying to um, get away with you know uh, playing with fire too much. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No, I understand that. Um, I think that he he realizes, despite what what is been presented to him, I think that he understands that um, they are playing with actual fire. Yeah, they um, are. and and they are totally willing to screw him over, and you know, laws or recompense, revenge, whatever you want to say, be damned. You know, the city be damned, they will come for you. Thank you, um, Swiss, for the five dollar donation. I really appreciate that. It's very generous of you. Um, so I I do not uh I don't believe that 
he will let it go. He shouldn't let it go. It's absolutely nonsense, Corn. If he does take it all, if say he wins back the um, White House and he um, is still dealing with this, I can imagine this would be one hell of a victory for him if he does manage to get to the Supreme Court because there's no way they'd let this go. No, of course not. So it'd be, um, it'd be again further proof of how willing, how derangements. It just gives more. Um, it solidifies the belief of um, Trump derangement syndrome. Yes, yes, it does, and um, it's a very re- <laughs> It's very real. Um, it's unfortunate that that's the case, isn't it? Uh, yes, one hundred percent. Because apparently, um. We don't believe in real laws anymore. Apparently not. If this bullshit's allowed to go through, no, certainly not. But you know, that's um, that's what we have so far. It'll be very interesting to see what happens on Monday. I'll be on. I'll definitely be on uh, Twitter talking about it. Everyone should follow Trups at Trups LP, I believe. That's correct. I knew it. Uh, um, lately, you will find me arguing with game devs. Oh, are you are you involved in Gamergate two point I am. Good. I'm actually considering turning uh, what ordinarily would be politics into gaming news because somebody has to do this shit right. Honestly, I fully understand, and I'm getting sick and tired of the the fact that Gamergate had to get a 2.0 is is hilarious. But it had to happen. I'm sorry, but you guys are pricks, and you now need to be told about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but somebody needs to do the gaming news right. I I respect you know uh, a lot of the folks who do put in the work to do uh, gaming news correctly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, more bodies to further, you know, push out the uh, the crazies. Yeah, no, I understand that. And oh, that, um, That's been a consideration. Oh, and Sweet Baby Ink should fuck itself. Who said that? Oh, yes. Quite. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for, um, I think... Today, I, I think it is. I know we haven't hit, we haven't hit the hour mark, but I know that you have to go and do stuff, and yes, uh, I need to kick a dog and cat out of my room before I go to bed. <laughs> You're just gonna say kick a dog? I'm like, no, I'm don't. Them. No, no, it's Wizzy, bro. I wouldn't do that. No, I, I need to. Let, I need to let them out and do stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Are we here next week, Traps? I believe so. Yes, Very 29th. Well. Yes. Fantastic. Okay then, everyone. Thank you for being here, guys. It'll be on Spotify. It has to be tomorrow now because I'm going. I'm out on Sunday. I'm going to Dragon Force. Um, indeed. Uh, thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next.